In this video, we will learn how to fix duplicate title tag. So what is title tag? If you are into SEO game, then you may have known about the basic structure of HTML and the elements of HTML like H1 tag, H2 tag, title tag. If you don't know that, let me explain you quickly. So here is my web page as you can see you see the front end of it and if we see the structure of HTML structure of this let's just right click and view page source and as you can see the title tag here is email privacy dash and webby which is the website's name so that's what google actually or any bot actually scrape this and paste it on the search engine how let me just search for this particular term privy email privacy webby and if we go to the here as you can see this is the same text that has been taken from the page which is the title tag and paste it to the search pages that's how it's important to make it unique make it catchy such that it will catch the eye of users in the search engine so if i see the other method properties here here is a name and a description and the author okay so title is the main thing that you should be unique and should not be the same across different pages and to fix that you have various methods to resolve it first is actually change your title tag and how to change it if you need all those pages right for example you have different pages that has a duplicate title tag and you actually need all those pages you have to go that particular page and add it that and change the name of it okay if you are on a wordpress the quick fix is go to the post go to the all post and go through any url which has a duplicate title tag and just click a quick edit on it and just change just change the title and you will be good to go and if you have a pages duplicate title pages just go to the all pages right here click on the quick edit and change the title and click, click update and it will change the title just like that but if you don't have such thing and maybe there is some matter or you don't need some title pages or you have a custom script like us here and it has generated meaningless pages like this for example here is the email privacy which is a tool page and if i cl click on it which is the duplicate title tag and it redirects to the same page so why is this page is actually getting scraped by shamrush because there's maybe some links that has been pasted across this website by my employees or maybe by myself then this issue may have occurred because their bot click on e each on every element and see if that page is actually valid whether it's internal or external link so we have done this deliberately just to show you how you can handle such error so we have deliberately entered this particular internal link in on some pages of our website to make it actually get the error from the same rush so there we already got it and to resolve this particular issue what we need is to redirect this particular url to the main url here and how you can actually do that so first thing was to just change the title tag and second method is to redirect this url permanently or temporarily there is a redirect code first is 301 which is the permanent redirection you can easily do that with the help of a tool or you can also go to your apache or ngx service configuration file there you can actually do it so we will be going to do deal with this particular redirection with the 301 which is a permanent redirector and we will use it on our server and there is a way to do that if your website is on ngx server or apache server you have to figure that out by contacting your hosting services if you don't have a hosting service obviously you have already installed that on your website then you may be using a apache or an ngx that you already have figured out so i presume that you have already figured out so for the apache part my website is on the apache right now but i recommend everyone to use ngx because that is a super fast so here is a apache configuration which is the dot hd access and you have a different module or a re rewrite rule has been written and what you can do is just type to redirect the internal link you can use redirect match 301 which is the permanent and in the next part what we can do is here this particular thing represent our url which because it's the internal redirection so what we need is uh, copy this just like that add this particular keyword and redirect this to here okay what it does is the url which we are going to redirect is this 
so webby.com is presumably assumed here and redirect you to this particular page which is the native page right and we will be doing that for each and every url here just copy this particular url go to the same hd access file and write again redirect match 301 uh, let me just paste that particular url and let me okay so it's just paste the cmrush one let me delete that again and let me copy this so there you go just add that operator and this particular operator which is a dollar sign or however you want to call it and redirect that to the same url and there is this obviously one we needed for ourselves and there you go redirect match the local one paste that duplicate title tag url should be the same adding a again operator this is a dollar sign and there we need this particular redact right and there's two more i think let me add that quickly a bitcoin price calculator okay it's already done and there is this thing also if you have something like that like there's a slash button which represents a directory you can either just redirect this to this or this to this so i will be redirecting this is because we have already redirect these three to the other part and let me just copy this and there you go let me just save that and in some cases you might need to restart your apache server so in my case it won't be so if i open this let's see what it does okay so it's just redirect to this and give us this particular route so the end result is the same and if we just do that and it also give us the root of this so end result is the same right and let's just rerun this particular campaign and let's see if this particular issue has been resolved or not in the meantime let's discuss how you can use the same redirection in the case of nginx server so there is a blog which we have already posted let me give you the link or yeah here is the link which I will provide in the description box and if you go to this create a URL directing version on nginx server so you need to go to the nginx configuration file just like here this will be the nginx configuration file you just need to go to this particular blog and you will be good to go and after that obviously you need to back up that configuration file and what you need to do is you need to write this particular code to rewrite the same way which we have done on the apache server the same thing and rewrite it to the new url and in the last you don't need to add any code 310302 you need to add the permanent so it will tell the angic service to permanently redirect this particular url to this particular url and for the internal links part you can do the same which we have done in the apache part it will be fine so hope you understand how to add on the apache and on the ngx server and if you still have a doubt in the ngx server i will create another video or a tutorial but i think this tutorial will be good to go i will put the link in the description box and the next part is how you can actually add a redirection in wordpress so what you need to do is you must have a redirection plugin i don't suggest you to add any other direct redirection plugin just use one seo plugin which is called rank man because it solves all the problems out there if you have a schema problem if you have a ad optimizing your blog post which we have already done in the past so it includes everything 404 monitor and everything so what you need is go to the redirection go to the rank math plugin uh, sidebar and go to the redirection and here what you need to do is go to the add new section and the source url source url will be the url which has a duplicate title tags and for example the source url will be it's the wordpress has been installed on my blog part let me give you an example here is the source url okay and it should be the exact okay and if you want to add another like we have done here you can add all these urls just like adding more and more and more because if we all these are going to redirect to the one page then there it is and say here is the destination url so destination url will be the page you are you want that particular url to be redirect to and let's just say i want the redaction to this page and there is the 301 permanent move and there's a different settings down there or temporary redirect or something like that i will be doing the permanent move it should be the solution for you also and there you go so the redirection to category if you want to add any redirection category you can also do that 
and is the activate and schedule activation i don't think that will be of any use for you just click on add redirection and you will be good to go i won't be adding add redirection because it mess up my pages so that's about it and you can manage all the redirection here just see all the redirection which have we already posted it and you can easily add it and see how many hits actually get it okay so that's how you can use a plugin or a rack map plugin to redirect and url on your wordpress website so there is my audit again and result of the audit again so here is there is no error of the email privacy one which we have already done here using this particular method so that has error has been resolved as you can see and there is other issues also and the same issue as you can see the minus 15 here and the error has been reduced to more minus 15 here let me go to the issues again and go to the title tags duplicate title tags and that issue has been resolved and the same thing i will be doing with this page size checker so stay tuned if you want to learn much more about how to fix these errors or same from the same rest audit tool then you should subscribe to the channel so if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if you want to see much more from me regarding these seo issues and how to resolve that then you can just subscribe to the channel if you want to share this to your friends or colleague then you should use the share button and if you have some question in mind you have a comment box with you see you in the next video then bye bye